welcome to my channel. This is Vicki from Houston. Thank you so much for joining me this evening. You may hear in the background some storms. We have some rain coming in. I can hear it through the windows. We are getting thunder and we're getting some lightning. So you may hear that. This video is going to be me sharing with you my masks that I love, but these are the that I use regularly. I do believe that they help my skin and I really do see a difference when I don't use these masks. I do try to mask a couple of times a week, and um, but I also try not to overdo it. I try not to over exfoliate. I try not to rub my skin and um, just overdo it. I don't think that's good for your skin either. I think regular masking is great for your skin. I think it can clean out your pores. It makes your skin look plump. The first mask that I'm gonna share with you tonight is, this is called the Nug Revitalizing Energizing Mask. This is the face mask, flaxseed and peppermint oil. Um, it says it revitalizes and plumps dull, tired skin for a radiant look. I've got some notes about it right here on my computer. It says it's a winner of the Allure Best of Beauty Awards. It comes in these single use little packets, which I really like. And if you watched my last video, I have a new skincare refridge in my bathroom, so I can take these out and toss them in my refrigerator, and the mask feels really great when I put it on. Um, it says, using this mask um, gives you a vibrant, dewy complexion and a healthy glow. Um, it has peppermint oil, flaxseed oil, which help to revitalize, refresh, and plumps your skin. I ordered these through Amazon. I think they're like $6.50 a little pod, but I think you can get three for like $12, $13. So that's the one that I'm gonna use tonight. The first thing, of course, that you have to do before you put a mask on is you have to clean your face. You have to make sure that your face is completely cleansed. You don't want a dirty face with a bunch of makeup on and putting your mask on, and then it just all soaks into your skin. You can tell I just blew dry my hair, so my hair is straight. So I'm going to um, just fast forward through. I'm gonna pull my hair back and I'm gonna rinse my face. We'll put the mask on. Okay, so I have my face all clean and I did double cleanse like I usually do. I have this little brush. I don't know where I got this thing, but it's really nice. It's a brush just for masks. You can tell this is just a white cream. There's a lot of product in there. So I always get it all over. And once I get the product on, I just rub it in and make sure I get it everywhere. I put it on my neck. Okay, it's on, it feels great. It smells good too. It's the peppermint oil that I'm smelling. It sm smells wonderful. We'll be back in about 15 minutes and we'll wash it off. Okay guys, I'm back and it has been about almost 20 minutes. So I'm going to rinse this off real fast and um, I'll be right back. Okay guys, so it is all rinsed off. My face feels wonderful. 
My neck feels wonderful. I guess probably that peppermint oil still makes your skin tingle. Um, I'm gonna let my face completely dry and then I'm going to carry on with my nighttime routine. So that is the first mask. Um, I will link all of the masks uh, below. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you are subscribed to my channel, thank you so much. I appreciate it. If you are flipping around and you just happened upon this video and you find it fun or informative, please, uh, I'd love it if you would subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you'll be um, notified if I put out any new videos. So thanks a lot, guys. It is storming in Houston. I hope I don't float away. I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Hi guys, we're back for more masks tonight. It is Tuesday night and I am planning on masking again. And the mask that we're gonna try tonight is the Now Solutions Moroccan Red Clay Powder Mask. Oh, I wanna be very careful because that's powder in there and I would hate to have powder all over my bathroom. You can kind of see. I don't think it smells like anything. Somebody said it smells like chocolate. I don't smell chocolate. What, what the reviews say is that it reduces the pore size. It can serve as an excellent facial cleanser for sensitive skin. It purifies the skin. So I've already taken my makeup off tonight, but it says a tablespoon of water. Got my little tablespoon. And I'm gonna put a tablespoon of water. And now I'm going to take a tablespoon of that powder, uh, about like that, and I'm going to mix it. We're going to leave this on 10 to 20 minutes, and it says when it dries, it's going to get really hard, which I remember it felt really weird. And then to get it off, you just put a warm cloth or warm paper towels on your face, and it will kind of break down the, the clay. Okay, so let's get started. Oh, that feels so weird. And I didn't think this was gonna make enough to use just one tablespoon of the powder and one tablespoon of water, but it is. It's definitely going to use and be enough. It's on pretty good. I'm not going to bring it down here just for tonight because I just don't want to take a chance on this getting on my clothes. We'll come back in about 20 minutes and I'll show you how lovely this is when it starts drying and making me look 100 years old. Bye-bye. Okay, guys, I'm back. It has been almost 30 minutes. I left it on a little bit longer. I have a warm uh, cloth right here. I don't, I didn't grab the paper towels. I'm going to see if a warm cloth will get this off. It feels tight. Okay guys, wow, that it, my skin does feel wonderful and it feels clean and it is bedtime. I've got to go to bed. I got stuff to do in the morning and this was the clay Moroccan mask and then I will get back with you tomorrow and we'll have another mask. So I hope you're enjoying this. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow night. Bye-bye. Hey guys, I'm back. <laughs> And um, I am not going to put masks on tonight. I want to just talk to you about um, two or three, I think I have three masks 
that I use. And um, tomorrow I'm going to cook and we're going to make a mask. And it is my favorite. It's a Japanese anti-aging facial mask that we're going to cook up. So we will do that tomorrow and that will finish up my video on masks. But tonight I have run all day. Do I look tired? I should because I'm tired. Um, I got up early this morning and um, made a run to um, close to San Antonio. I, I drove about two and a half hours and um, met some family that we haven't seen for a while. I took my mom and then we came back and we hit some storms coming in. So it's just, it's been a really busy day and um, I came back to storms on I-10 and now it's storming again. So, but I do wanna go ahead and talk about these masks tonight and then I'm gonna take my makeup off and I'm gonna go to bed and we'll talk about the last one tomorrow. So let's get started. So the one thing that I did wanna mention about the mask that I used, was it last night? The Moroccan clay powder mask. That mask feels really good and it makes my skin feel great. And I do feel like it is plumped and looked great today, but oh my God, it, it is so messy. I got red clay all over my counter. It was in my sink. I used a warm, which I, I know I have done this before, and I guess I used, always have used a paper towel um, to start the process of getting it off, and I used a washcloth last night. I've got, it's all over my washcloths. So it is a great mask, and I'm not telling you not to use it because it's great, but it is messy, messy. So, you know, I would suggest when it dries and you start preparing to get it off, Make sure you use a paper towel, have a roll, have a whole roll of paper towels and uh, dampen it with warm water and start laying that on your face to at least let that clay mask start breaking up because it was on my floor everywhere. One of the masks that I love is this one and this is called the Matcha Clay Powder Mask. I don't know if you can see that, there you can. Um, I have used this for a while, and this is just, it says all-in-one dry skin care. Um, it talks about all the ingredients in, are in it. It's all organic. I'm going to look at some of my notes. Um, I got this from Amazon, and it's not cheap. It's 35 but it is totally organic, and you mix it with distilled water. I mix it with water. It has clay, organic, anti-aging, antioxidants. Um, it's It kind of acts as a, a little bit of a face scrub. It has a pore cleanser. It absorbs your oils and impurities. Um, it's four ounces and um, they mostly push it as a pore cleanser, lifts away oil, makeup and impurities while restoring firmness and soft radiance. This one is not near as messy as the clay mask is. Um, you, it's just, and this one's not open yet, but um, I got this one from my cabinet. The other mask that I want to talk a little bit about are just some inexpensive masks that we all see at Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, whatever you have in Target, I think has them. And these are these little Freeman masks. Well, let's see, let's turn it around, Vicki. See the little Freeman masks? So I have one that is anti-stress. It's a clay mask. This is the blue. Um, this is the detoxifying. This is charcoal and black sugar. It's very good. Um, this is hydrating gel cream mask. It feels very good. Um, this is a peel off um, sweet tea and lemon. This is probably my favorite. I don't know why I like the peel off, but I feel like if you let it completely dry, peel it off, it takes all the impurities. It smells wonderful. I love that one. And the last one that I have is the deep clearing uh, Manuka honey and tea tree oil. This is the, it's kind of a cleanser mask. All of these masks do different things. They are very inexpensive. You can get all different kinds. This is not all of them. They have a, I think they have more than this. If you're just learning and just starting to mask and you wanna just start masking once a week, you know, I would say pick up one of these Freeman masks to get started. The last mask I'm gonna talk about tonight is is made by a company called Skin Food. Uh, I know Ulta has some of them. I'm not sure that Ulta has all of them. 
and I know that you can get them on Amazon. I have used the Skin Food Egg White one. Um, there's also a Fresh Made Coconut Mask, um, and there's also a Night Avocado Mask. And um, all of these masks by Skin Food, I think, are great. Um, the Coconut Mask, I don't have one of these with me right now. I think I used my, the last of my coconut mask, um, I don't know, a couple of weeks ago. It is one that you apply at night and you leave it on all night long and you wash it off in the morning. And a lot of people say this is a dupe for the Glam Glow mask that you leave on all night. This one was like in the $50 range, but um, it says it's for really, really dry skin. Put on a thick layer at night, go to sleep, wash it off in the morning. Your skin, and I know I've done this, your skin will be so soft and so moisturized in the morning. The thing I wanted to mention about this Fresh Made Coconut Overnight Mask is it says it's unavailable. Um, I looked at Amazon, I looked a couple of places, and it says it's unavailable right now, so I'm not sure if that means it's just unavailable right now because of COVID, you know, all this, everything's not available. Or if that means they're not making it anymore, I'm not sure. But if you can find that mask anywhere, buy it because it's a really great mask. So that is my miscellaneous mask that I love that I keep around all the time. Tomorrow we're going to cook. It will make your skin look 10 years younger. That's what it says. So if I'm 61, by tomorrow night when I do this, I'm going to be 51. Let's just say 50. It will, it's just easier to say 50. A um, couple of things that we're going to cook and we're going to add together and we're going to make a mush or a mask and we're going to put it on our face. So we will do that tomorrow night. I am going to finish up tonight. I am tired. I got to pull my hair up and I got to get this makeup off and I'm going to go to bed. I am tired. I've driven all day. So thanks so much for watching. Let's come back tomorrow and you'll see. We're going to cook and we'll see what we make. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Hi, guys. Guess what? It's the last night of our masking. I am getting ready to do some cooking. I'm going to tell you the recipe first. And then I'm going to run into the kitchen and grab all my ingredients and come back in here. And I will show you how I mix it all together and put it on my face. What this is, and I have my computer right here so I can look at it. This is called the Japanese Anti-Aging Facial Mask that makes you look 10 years younger. Don't we all want that? And I really need that tonight. I did not put any makeup on today, so I, I did put sunscreen on, but no makeup. Um, so in a saucepan, I'm gonna put two tablespoons of rice, water, stir and cook over medium heat and keep stirring and when it gets mushy and completely cooked, I'm gonna put it in a blender. The recipe says, blend it until it makes a white creamy paste. Set aside, now we're going to add um, flaxseed oil and then it also says that you will need two vitamin E capsules. We're gonna mix all that together, put all over the face for 30 minutes, wash off with cold water, then warm, then moisturize. It says you can do this three to four times weekly. And I meant to say earlier, all the masks that I have talked about over the last three, four, five days, I'm going to link below. I'll link this recipe below. So I'm going to go get my ingredients and I will be back in just a minute. Okay, I'm back and I have got all my ingredients right here in front of me. I, um, cooked the rice. I did what it said. Two tablespoons of rice, one cup of water stirred and cooled. And here, it just looks like mush in there. So it says mix two tablespoons of the rice mixture. There's one. So there's two. Mix with two tablespoons of flaxseed gel. I need, and I need two tablespoons of that. So it's kind of, you can tell it's kind of yellow. And now I have some vitamin E capsule. And now I am just mixing it all together. I have a little brush. And now I'm just going to put a thin layer of that on my face.
Okay, I think it's pretty much rubbed in. Uh, the instructions say leave it for 30 minutes. So I'm gonna let this set up for 30 minutes and I will see you after that. Okay guys, I'm back. You can tell that the mask has um, kind of hardened just a tiny bit and I really feel like um, it has soaked into my skin. I'm gonna just pat my face with this cool cloth and come down my neck. Then it says to use a warm um, cloth. So I have warmed this cloth in the microwave. It's very, I mean, it's not hot, but it's warm. It feels wonderful. I will be really interested to see tomorrow how my skin feels. I am probably not going to put my um, Curology on tonight. I probably am just gonna moisturize, probably a thick moisturizer and then go to bed. And I'm anxious to see what it looks like, but you can see that it is not irritated anywhere. It's not red anywhere. Um, it is shiny and it feels really great. The, the one last, product that I wanted to mention to you is, this is not a mask, but it's a scrub that I found. I found this at TJ Maxx. This is called the Body Buff Sugar Scrub. And it, it says, it's a sugar scrub exfoliating body scrub with coconut oil and rose oil. It says it's vegan, gluten-free, paraben-free, uh, mineral oil-free. And I got this for $5.99. And this is a large jar. And if you can look in there, it really does kind of look like sugar. I have been mixing this with my, my body wash and not a lot, but a little bit. I've used it on my elbows and it absolutely is wonderful. So I thought I would at least mention that to you. I don't know where else they have it. I should have looked it up online and I didn't, but TJ Maxx is where I found it. And, and it's made by a company called Body Buff. So... I hope you enjoyed this video. It seems like it's long, but um, I did want to share my masks with you. I hope you have a wonderful week. Thank you so much for watching again. Hit the notification bell so you'll be notified of all my new videos coming out. I would love it if you would subscribe and I would love it if you would give me a thumbs up. I'm gonna say bye-bye from Houston. Thanks, see you in my next video. Bye-bye.